Hi, Cat's Cradle here. On Friday, December 13th, Natural News posted an article that I was very interested in. And the title of the article is Plants Won't Grow Near Wi-Fi Routers Experiment Finds. I found this very interesting and what what this is about is that five ninth grade girls from a school in Denmark decided that they would run this experiment and they planted little watercress seeds and watercress is a little uh, tender green that you'll often find on a salad bar and uh, on sandwiches and in fancy delis that kind of thing it's a it's just a tender little green and it sprouts very very fast and so they put some of these uh, little potted seeds in a room with a Wi-Fi router and then they put some of the same identical seeds in another room where there was no uh, radiation at all and what they found was that after a 12-day period they m observed measured weighed and photographed the results and the seeds that were put in the room with the router either had not grown or were completely dead while those in the radiation free room blossomed I posted a video back on March 16th of this year, 2013, telling you about a documentary called Resonance Beings of Frequency, and I highly encouraged you to watch that video as I do again now. The link on that video does not work. For some reason, they pulled all of the links to that documentary off of YouTube for a while, and you couldn't watch it. But I went today to check, and I see several links to it. I'm going to post one below. After I read the article at naturalnews.com, I got to wondering what kind of Ethernet cable I had, and Prepper A volunteered to crawl under the desk and go look and take a photograph so I could see. And she found that we just had a regular plain cable connecting our Wi-Fi to our computer. Here's a broad shot of what the back of our box looks like. And then here is a close-up of where the Ethernet cable goes into into our box. At naturalnews.com they posted a link so that you could go see what an insulated cable looks like and I was able to find it at amazon.com and uh, pleased to find that the fix for changing out this cable is only going to be about five dollars and ninety nine cents for me I'm an Amazon Prime member but if you're not an Amazon Prime member you can still get it for about eight bucks so here's what you can look for in the show more section below. Here's the links I'm going to give you. One to the original natural news article. I'm going to give you a link to my original video talking about uh, my concerns about the frequency that surrounds us and promoting the resonance beings of frequency video. I'm also going to post a current working link so that you can go watch that documentary. And I'll also post a link to Amazon.com showing you where you can buy this insulated Ethernet cable. Uh, I'm, I'm a believer in doing what I can to fix any little safety glitches in my home, and this may be one that is well worth it. I look forward to your comments, and until next time, this is Cat's Cradle.